Good morning. My name is Dr. Chanessa Eloy, author, speaker, coach, and founder of the God Resume Program. I'm getting ready to kick off something brand new this week called the Monday Morning Reset. You heard me right, the Monday Morning Reset. Oftentimes on Friday, we're zooming out of the office and on Monday, when it rolls around, we are struggling to get in the work. But I want to give you some tools today to help you kick your Monday morning off right. All right? A couple of weeks ago, I gave a word talking about when disappointment moves us to a place of fear. And I want to share with you three tips on how to navigate through those life situations. Maybe you've been um, going to work and you've been trusting the Lord for a promotion to my professional career-driven women and men out there. Maybe you're up for a promotion, only to be passed up time and time again. And what's left behind after that disappointment? settles is fear. Fear will your career ever rise to the next level. Fear if you're ever, ever, ever able to climb to new heights. That fear that keeps you bound in that place. We got to talk about that today. Or maybe you're an entrepreneur and you've been planning for your business and you're hoping that new clients will come in only to find that things aren't picking up at the pace you had hoped they would. And what's left behind in that disappointment is fear. Fear will you ever get your business up and running to the levels that you want it to go to. Let me tell you something. Yes, you can. I'm going to give you three tips to hit reset on these thoughts. Number one, you have got to deal with your mindset issues. The Word of God says in Philippians chapter 4, verses 8 and 9, that we should fix our thoughts on whatever is true, honorable, right, and pure. Whatever is noble, we have to keep our thought process right. The Word of God also says that the enemy comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But don't assist the enemy with destroying your life by the negative thoughts that are being produced in your head and the negative words that are coming into your mouth or coming out of your mouth. You have got to speak life in all situations. So deal with your mindset issues and you'll start to see your life dealing in a different way. Number two, you have got to seek the Lord from a position of praise. You heard me say a position of praise. And when I say praise, the word of God says in Philippians chapter four, verses six and seven, that in every situation by prayer and petition, but with thanksgiving, that we have to make our request known unto the Lord. So as you are going on your knees and saying your prayers on a day-to-day -day basis, make sure you incorporate praise because you'll see things begin to transpire a little bit more quicker. Last but not least, you have to develop daily declarations. For me personally, when I find myself going into a business meeting or if I'm getting ready to talk to a new client, I often may have that, those little butterflies in my tummy, right? And I've got to tackle those, those elements of fear. So what do I say to myself? I have a declaration I'll share with you that I typically say. I say that I am grateful and happy that I am a child of God and I will not fear man nor this life because Lord you declare in your word in Psalm 56 verse 4 that in God whose word I praise and God I trust I would not be afraid. What can mortal man do to me? Say your daily declarations and see your life go in a completely different direction. I want to say have a great Monday morning. Don't let disappointment rob you of your destiny and keep your perspective eternal. God bless.